a very warm afternoon to all my dear friends well my dear children today we shall be dealing with the topic that is unemployment here in this uh, topic we will study different types of unemployment causes and consequences of unemployment even we also understand that what's difference between unemployment and underemployment okay so i shall request you to go through this video and jot all important points which are going to help you in making notes so now you can see here that there is uh, one image okay which is clearly depicting the situation of unemployment so now let us understand that what do you mean by unemployment first see unemployment basically is what that a person who is willing to work just you know uh, keep these words in your mind willing to work willing means a person who is wanted to work but cannot find suitable job okay he is so much adamant that he wanted to do job but he is unable to get the job and the workforce population we have that is 15 to 59 years of age why 59 but uh, because 60 years that is a retirement age okay then we have different types of unemployment rural and urban seasonal and disguised in rural employment and educated in urban disguised unemployment you can say that it is a situation where the number of people employed in a job is more than the optimally required okay for example suppose in a piece of land okay one worker he is producing 5000 kg of wheat later on two members of his family join him okay but still there is no effect in the production it still the production is 5000 kg but those two person who joined later on are called disguisedly unemployed person okay because they are it seems that they are employed but actually they are not employed they are disguisedly unemployed and they are considered as unemployed person okay for example you can say that such employment can be seen in a can be seen in an agriculture sector okay so this is a situation basically so this type of situation you can see it can be seen in an agriculture sector okay now season unemployment seasonal unemployment you know say according to the season they are employed and if there is a requirement they are employed if there is no requirement no job okay even no work it happens when people are not able to find jobs during some months of the year for example dependent upon agriculture usually face uh, you can say such kind of problem okay in, uh, in agriculture only generally this problem can be uh, you can see that okay even uh, you can see that during this situation there are lots of problems also okay see you can see that during this season also the uh, small farmers they are compelled and they are helpless to work under big and uh, medium farmers okay and during that situation you know they will have to work under minimum wages and even the less than minimum wages because you know they are like you can say uh, they have to run their livelihood and if they do, cannot uh, means you know run their livelihood how would they sustain they cannot even manage two square meals also so just to manage their home they will have to work whatever comes their way okay whatever the work comes to their way so you know that is why seasonal unemployment and disguised unemployment these are both these unemployment are the part of you can say rural part, rural areas educated now see you can see that many people around you that they are holding graduate degree you know they are holding post graduation degree but still they are unemployed why because they cannot compromise with their academics they cannot compromise with their profile they cannot compromise with their education how can you imagine a person who is holding a phd degree and he is teaching primary section a person who is holding that degree that particular person is working as a sales person so that is what you know educated unemployment is more in india and you know what that 
अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट इज लो इन इंडिया बट अंडर एम्प्लॉयमेंट इज मोर सो इंडिया बेसिकली फेसिंग अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ अंडर एम्प्लॉयमेंट एज कम्पेयर टू अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट अंडर एम्प्लॉयमेंट मीन्स वेन अ पर्सन इज यू नो वेन अ पर्सन इज सो मच कम्पेल्ड टू डू जॉब less than his abilities uh, you can say capabilities and even less than the wages just because they cannot sit idle they will have to work something or the other so why is educated unemployed a peculiar problem in india because according to study you can say unemployment of graduates and post graduates has increased faster than among matriculates there is a paradoxical manpower situation in the job market in india so there is a feeling of hopelessness and despair among the youth on the other hand there is unemployment technically qualified people while on the other there is a dearth of technical skills required for economic growth in india what are the effects of unemployment unemployment can be emotionally draining on the unemployed person it can be financial and emotional drain on his family members a large number of unemployed people is ultimately a liability for the society high rate of unemployment can also increase the crime rate what are the consequences or problems first is that wastage of manpower resources see how come wastage of manpower resources a person who is having graduation degree a person who is um, you can say post graduation degree okay a person who is having some skills okay he can do job but you know what due to the unavailability of job he is not it means that it is a you know we are just it's a wasting of resources we have resources but it is not you know utilizing it we are not unable we are unable to utilize that how come it increase the economic overload because all the unemployed people they are burden on the society and even they are the burden on the employed person okay quality of life of an individual and society adversely affected because if you cannot earn you will remain be poor and if you remain poor you cannot be you know uh, you cannot be literate health wise also you cannot be you cannot maintain your health status increase in the withdrawal from the school system because of the money lack of money increase in unemployment leads to depressed economy because all these features are of depressed economy only so you no know, these are the all consequences and the problems of unemployment if if you know that's why the education is more important so that we can save our economy from being a depressed economy how we get the problem of the educated unemployment how what are the different measures okay emphasis should be given to vocational education that is a skill based program now you can see that with the you know new education policy okay you can see that we are no more more focus is on the vocational education that is skill based education the students should be made aware and encouraged about self employment indian education system should be made employment oriented rather than result oriented more and more employment opportunities should be generated so that maximum educated youth may get employment so my dear students here you can see that how it could adversely affect economy it can make economy as a for the economy is overload and it can make economy as a depressed economy so it is not a very good situation for the economy for the individual for society for community even for anyone okay now what are the facts through this chapter that we got to know educated and the healthier people gain through higher incomes society gains in other indirect ways because the advantages of a more educated or healthier population spreads were not directly educated or given health care human capital is one way superior to other resources but obvious investment in human resources give high rates of return in the future educated parents found to invest more heavily on the education of their children just a overview of the chapter population what is it's an asset for the economy rather than a liability population people as resource way of referring to a country is working people in terms of their existing productive skills and abilities what is the positive side of a large population of an overlooked okay it generally it is often overlooked in our india and a negative side it you know it's uh, just highlighted more so the problems of providing food education and access to health facilities investment in human capital through education and medical care ills 
a return like investment in physical capital so i would request you all to please listen to this video very carefully okay and thanks for watching this video and please jot down all important points from this video so till then take care everyone stay blessed and stay stay safe bye bye everyone